I'm Lisa Long. I'm Gianni Ari. And I'm Olivia Palavicini. And today we will be budgeting for a single product. Our product is water bottles and we will be selling them at a soccer concession stand on the weekends. And today we're going to be showing you how we budget our products. Question number one. Describe your product. What is your cost of this product? What size and quantity will you purchase? At what price will you sell your repackaged product? Make projections of your sales and units in each of the upcoming three months. Our product is Nestle Spring Water. You get, we get packs of 24 from Sam's Club for $6.98. So for the months of May, June, and July, we are selling a total of 120 water bottles. 20 in May, 40 in June, and 60 in July. We are selling the water bottles for $2 a water bottle, so they'll make a profit of $48 for each selling price. And the total sales revenue for May will be 960, June 1920, July 2880, and there'll be a total of $5,760. And since we only accept cash sales and no credit sales, the total cash sales will also be $5,760. And total revenues will be $5,760. Prepare the direct materials budget budget for the upcoming three months, assuming that you need to keep 10% of the direct materials needed for next month's sales on hand at the end of each month. The water bottles that we are going to be purchased are 1.05 pounds a piece. Since we are going to be producing 20 cases of water bottles in the month of May, we are going to need 480 units. We multiply that by the 1.05 pounds for each water bottle and we get 504 pounds of direct material needed. If we want to keep 10% of inventory on supply for next month's use, we will need to keep approximately 100 pounds of direct material. We get this figure from taking 10% of 960 and adding it in right here. So, this makes us needing to purchase 604 pounds of direct material this month. Since our cases are $6.98 per pack of 24, each pound of direct material costs 29 cents. Multiplying 29 cents by the 604 pounds of direct material we need gets us $175 in direct material purchase costs for the month of May. After budgeting for May, June, and July, we've found that we're going to be needing a total of 3,024 pounds of direct material. We've also projected that in August we're going to be selling 50 cases of water, so we'll need to keep 84.5 pounds of direct material on hand for that supply. After adding the supply that we'd like to keep on hand for August to the purchases that we've already needed to be making, we get 3,138 pounds of direct material. When we multiply this by 29 cents a pound of direct material, we get a total cost of $910 for our direct material purchases for our whole summer. You'll see this later on our budgeted income statement. Question number two. Estimate how many hours you will spend in each of the upcoming three months doing the purchasing, repackaging, and selling. Select a reasonable wage rate for yourself. What will your total labor cost be in each of the upcoming three months? And number six, prepare a direct labor budget for your labor for each of the upcoming three months. We intend to have someone selling water bottles at our stand for a total of 40 hours a month. This will be from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. both Saturday and Sunday every, day, every weekend of the month. Since this is five hours a day, 10 hours a weekend, and there's four weekends in a month, this is 40 hours total. Since we're going to be producing 480 units in May, we divide our direct labor hours required into the units that will be produced, and we get 0 .08 direct labor hours per unit. We're going to be paying our help minimum wage, so this will be 40 hours times 8 for a total of $320 for the month of May. This is going to be the same for June and July. The only difference is that we are going to be selling more units. In June, we have 960 units divided by 40 direct labor hours, and we get .04, again for a total of $320. In July, we have 1,440 units divided by 40 for a total of .03 direct labor hours per unit, again, a total of 320. So in our grand total, we produce 2,880 units, and we have 120 hours, so we get 0.15 units per direct labor hours per unit. We had a grand total of labor costs of $960 from the $320 for each month. Think about any other expenses you are likely to have, i.e. booth rental at a flea market or vendor license. Prepare the operating expenses budget for each of the upcoming three months. 
So we decided that our startup cost would start with $45 with a bucket. And for the first month of May, gas expense will be $5. And for a total variable, variable operating expenses to start up will be $50. We decided that in the month of June, it, gas expense will be $10. Since we will be selling more water bottles, we will be running around more. And gas expenses are going up. Also, in the month of July, it went up by $5 as well, so that will be a total of $15. So, the bucket, $45 plus gas expense per total, $30, and var oper variable operating will be $75 in total. For fixed operating expenses, we decided that we would have a deal with the venue that we would pay $35 a month, and this is a fixed cost, and it will equal out to $105 in total. We will be buying more ice each month because the more waters we buy, the more ice we want to keep them cold. So the first, the first month of May, we decided that we would spend $50 on ice. The month of June, $100. The month of July, $150 for a grand total of $300 in ice. This is a total of fixed operating expenses. The booth rental plus the ice will be $85 for the month of May. $135 for the month of June, $185 for the month of July, and in total $405 for fixed operating expenses. So now what we're going to do is add the variable operating expenses plus the fixed operating expenses to get a grand total of $480. And all of this down here is just the months added up. Prepare a budgeted income statement that reflects the budgets you prepared, including the sales budget, direct materials budget, direct labor budget, and the operating expenses budget. So our budget and income statement looks like this. For the total in all months, our sales coming from the sales budget was $5,760. Less cost of goods sold, which came from our direct materials budget, came out to be $910 for a gross profit of $4,850. We're gonna subtract operating expenses that came from our operating expenses budget, which came out to be $480, subtracted, Direct labor expense is $960, and for a total operating income is $1,440. Now we are going to subtract interest expense, which we don't have any, uh, as well as interest tax expense, which we don't have any, which comes out uh, with a net income of $3,410.